everybody, all other companies want a piece of a, of a business that has returns that are that high. Um, so, so in my office, for some really unknown reason, I had on the desk an old-fashioned milking stool. And it had come to me through my father, and it had come to him through uh, a, a business partner of his. And uh, on the top of this platform, it, it, it stands about that high, and it has three legs. And the, the first two are in the front, and the third one is in the middle and the back, and they're splayed. And a, and a farmer who was milking his cow would grab that back leg and sort of just stick it up under his behind as he sat down to milk a cow. This was in the old days when they did it by hand. And so I was looking at that one day, and I thought, you know, that's actually a perfect construct for our notion about what makes a valuable investment. We call it the three-legged stool. So if you looked at our material, our material is resplendent with these three-legged stools. And, and the first leg of that, and we just use this as a shorthand version, a construct to help us think in very simple terms about how you find these great investments. So the first leg is this issue of a high return business, an exceptional business. MasterCard is an exceptional business. The average business earns, call it 8% after tax on earnings, and MasterCard earns 34%. That's exceptional. That's, that, I mean, even, even if the average were 10, 10% would be exceptional. But, but I mean, MasterCard's 34%, my God, it's really incredible. So the first leg of the stool that we talk about is this, is the quality of the business enterprise. And we spend a lot of time going down this road that we call, what's the essence of this business? What is it about the business that's, that's causing this unbelievable rates of return to occur? The second leg of the stool then goes into the operations. It has to do with the people who run the business. And, and uh, um, the shorthand version of that is we want them to have both skill and integrity. But what we say is that they've got a demonstrated record of being just killers at operating their business. But in addition to that, they treat us as partners even though they don't know us. You know, it's a really important idea because uh, the, the, the reverse of that is, is somebody I heard described the other day is talking like Warren Buffett and acting like Ronald Perlman. And, and there, 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 there are people out there, and you'll find them, you'll run across them, who do whatever they can to make sure that public shareholders don't get their fair share. And we don't want that. We want the same thing happens at the company level to happen at the per share level. And, and that these are wonderfully skilled operators as well. So first leg is the quality of the business. The second leg is really the quality of the people who run the business. And then the third leg is, is the issue that really helps create the value, and that's the reinvestment. And there are, there's, a, there's a book out pretty current now called Mr. Dear Mr. Chairman, or Dear Chairman. And it's, it's about activists and companies and trying to change the behavior of companies because of their, typically because of their reinvestment histories. And, and if, a, if a business has a great high return on the owner's capital, um, we would love for them to be able to take all the free cash they generate and put it back into that business to continue to earn those high rates of return. Um, it's way more efficient than paying us a dividend. Uh, 